G'day guys, I'm the one and only Strom, and I'd like to know, how you doing? Good? Well, that's great. So, today's date is the 14th of February. That date is the date on which Valentine's Day falls. And for me, it's not a day that I like to remember. Because a year ago today, I had my, uh, well, first real experience with love, and it's... <sighs> it's not something I like to remember. Because it's just painful. Painful memory. It's just, you know. I ended up dating this guy named Dean for a while, and... When Valentine's Day came around, me and him said that we'd do something, do something special together for Valentine's Day and get each other gifts. My gift to him was a Valentine's Day video, which is right here. And, um, yeah. I want to wish that special person happy Valentine's Day. So. Happy Valentine's Day. And, you know, I put a lot of work into that video. You know, I... I rehearsed that video out so many times, it's just, you know, ridiculous. And I was really nervous about it. I was struggling to just even say what I was saying in the video. I put a lot of time and effort into editing that, making sure that I was you know, perfect. And then, what does Dingo get me? A mug. Just a mug. Which says, Mr. Always Right. It's like, he thought that represented my personality, you know, and it's just like, I don't know, it's just, it's like he thinks I'm one of these guys who always has to be right to compensate for like his small genitals or something along those lines. It's just like, whenever I look at this mug now, it's just like a bad memory. Probably should just smash the fucking thing, but not in this video. Maybe in another video. He also got me a card, which he didn't even bother to write in. Really? And then, in previous videos, I've pretty much told you what happened on Valentine's Day, on that night. So I'm not going to get into that. But suffice it enough to say that I, um, I seen Dean for who he really is. And I made a video about that, that experience with Dean. Which is called uh, Valentine's Day to Forget, which is right here. My Valentine's Day didn't go very well. Um, the person who I mentioned in it, like, mentioned but didn't name, was a guy named Dean. He lives in Wollongong and, well... He invited me over to his place to, you know, spend the day and the next and the night with him, like a bit of time the next day. And um, I was really excited, and I was going to get to spend time with him, get to know him, and you know, just enjoy myself. And things didn't go like that. Yeah. It took me uh, quite a while to get over Dean, and, you know, for a while, I found myself thinking about him. Just being, you know, away from him was like, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. I thought, I was thinking to myself, have I made the right decision, have I made the wrong decision? It's just like, I didn't know. 
and I didn't, didn't really have anyone else to talk to about it, so it's just like, yeah. It eventually got to the point where I, um, I went over to actually see Dean about eight months afterwards, because it'd been on my mind that much since the breakup. And I was just like, well, maybe he would, and I was like, oh, well, maybe he would actually, like, you know, want to listen. Maybe he's felt the same way I felt. Maybe it's just like, I don't know, he wants me back. And it's just like, I was thinking to myself, maybe that's what it is. Maybe, you know, I just got all that emotion that was building up inside me. And I just like decided, all right, I've got to do this. I've got to go, I've got to talk to him. And so, you know what, I did just that. But you know what? It wasn't meant to be. Not with Dean. I don't know why. Because when I actually did go over there, he pretty much, he pretty much just said, what are you doing here? And I just said, look Dean, I didn't, don't, I didn't come around to start any fights or arguments or anything, I just wanted to talk to you. And he's like, it was too late for that. Bye. And he slammed the door in my face. And that really hurt. It made me realize something. All this time that I'd wasted thinking maybe he's the one for me, maybe he'll take me back, maybe he'd, you know, still loves me, it was a waste. He doesn't care about me. And I just let that get to me all this time since the breakup and it's why I eventually made a video about that called love and moving forward although in that video it doesn't include the what I just told you about how I actually went over to his place I decided to leave that out in that video so today I want to talk about um, my Valentine's Day experience and well what I've learned from that experience. Um, as you know, I was dating a guy named Dean, and well, things didn't work out between us. I mean, on the actual day, Valentine's Day, he invited me to his place, and we ended up getting some dinner, like just take out, you know, ended up watching a few movies and stuff, and, you know. I realised that day that me and him weren't right for each other. I don't know. I suppose whenever Valentine's Day does come around, it's just it's just hard because I end up getting those memories just coming back. The painful memories. Especially in the especially this year thing as it is my first year having to deal with this. I've had the memories coming back for quite a while. It's just like, I know Valentine's Day isn't going to be an easy day for me to deal with, and you know, there's not much else I can do about it. I just have to move on and just forget about it because it's, you know, not meant to be. Dean's not worth it. And I can't change that, so. But I can look back on it and reflect. And I know one thing that I've realized. I know that what I'm looking for. I know what I'm looking for when it comes to a partner. I'm looking for someone who can handle my outgoing, crazy personality. I'm looking for someone who respects me for who I am who loves me for who I am, you know. There's not much else I can really say, but... but that I am... I'm stronger because of this experience in love. I hope that one day in the future I'll be able to just, you know, 
get through a Valentine's Day without these bad memories coming back. I really like that. I don't know if that'll ever happen, but, you know, fingers crossed. Yeah. Anyway, well, that's it for this video, so until next time, see you later. Bye.